What's up, Bulls Nation? My name is Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be discussing two players for the Chicago Bulls that are representing their countries well in the FIBA World Cup. Now, at the end of the day, I know there are not many Bulls players probably participating in that World Cup experience, but the ones that are, and especially the two I'm talking about today, I want to give a shout out to for how they're delivering and representing their country. Before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and comment down below your thoughts about how the players that you're interested in are doing in the FIBA World Cup. It could not necessarily be Bulls related, but this, since this is a Bulls channel, I'd like to know what you guys think about these certain things. With the first one being Nikola Vucevic. Now, He's had a couple of good games, I believe, but we can't deny it was a great game from Nikola Vucevic. And all you really heard from when the Bulls posted the stat line was why can't Vucevic do this for the Bulls every single week? Now, granted, you know, again, it's just the way that the team is kind of constructed. That's why Vucevic is not posting 27 points at 13 rebounds or whatever it is every single game. But again, it's one of those situations where you know, maybe the talent levels is not necessarily that high from the FIBA World Cup to the NBA. Again, the NBA is probably one of the bi the biggest league in the world and it has the most talent out there. But at the end of the day, regardless, it's still a situation where he is balling out for his country and that is going to be very important for players to represent their country's proud. And Vucevic is doing that with that type of performance. And hopefully he can continue delivering these performances every single game because I do think playing in these tournaments, playing in the FIBA World Cup, I think the Eurobasket was last season as well, seeing Goran Drogic play there. All these European competitions, all these competitions in general are really, really nice for players to get healthy for the NBA, to prepare themselves and to become fit for the NBA. And it should be a good start for the NBA season for most of those players because they've not taken months and months and months off of basketball and five-on-five -five action. They're still in competitive games and they're playing in a competitive way. So I'm excited to see how this can reflect to Vucevic's big performances for the Bulls when he's able to return to this team. So it's one thing I'm looking forward to there. And I think he's represented his country proud. And hopefully he can represent the Bulls proud uh, for the next upcoming season. But someone else that probably has gone a little bit under the radar is Carlick Jones. Carlick Jones has been balling out for his country, ladies and gentlemen. And it deserves some big recognition. Um, he plays for South Sudan, and he made history for them as well. And the first stat line I see, I, I can't remember the exact stat line, but if I can find it, I'll be happy to show you guys. But it was an incredible stat line. And Carla Jones is a talented player, man. He simply is. He's had a phenomenal G League experience. He's on a Bulls contract, I believe, right now. And there's an opportunity for us to guarantee that contract. And he's a talented, talented guard, ladies and gentlemen. And he's stepping up for his country, delivering some big performances for them. And he should feel proud with how he's able to represent his country. And he's a little bit under the radar, but notoriety. That's probably the biggest thing I, I could take away from Carla Jones. You look at Vucevic, he's, his notoriety is always there. People know Vucevic. People think Vucevic is a great center. If you put top 10 lists of best centers out there, Vucevic is often in those conversations. He has his reputation there. But Carla Jones is an up-and-coming player, a rising star for some people. And he's playing for the Chicago Bulls. He hasn't got that much game time or that much minutes. But what he's able to do in the FIBA World Cup can maybe generate some of that notoriety around the league and around the Bulls fans as well that may not know much about him so it's important for him to have big games as well and those are the two players that I believe are doing the Chicago Bulls proud but also doing their countries proud as well and I guess that question goes to the next point what does that mean for the NBA in the start of the season I kind of already mentioned it but Playing these competitive games, I think, means everything for the Chicago Bulls coming into the regular season and preseason and stuff of that nature because these guys are not coming in taking three, four months off and not playing five-on-five -five action for ages. They're coming into training camp, being in a competitive environment, playing competitive games, trying to do everything they can for their respective teams and doing so. So they should be coming into preseason ready. They should be coming into training camp ready. They should be coming into the regular season ready. I remember this with Goran Drogic. Now, Goran Drogic didn't last for the Chicago Bulls the entire season. And maybe you could arguably say he didn't last the entire season because of that run he had in the Eurobasket and stuff, and stuff like that. But whatever you want to put it down to, he came into the regular season completely ready to play because he had big European games that he was participating in before coming into training camp and coming into those big games in the regular season. 
So I assume it'd be very similar with what you see with Vucevic. Granted, Vucevic is a little bit younger. And also, he played a whole 82-game season last year for the Chicago Bulls. So he's going to be more than ready coming into this season, in my opinion, to take a big step. And also with Carlick Jones, again, I don't see much game time for Carlick Jones in the Chicago Bulls' future. But notoriety will bring a lot of questions and maybe will bring some thoughts into Billy Donovan's mind about using him in one way, form, or fashion. Because he can be valuable if he continues to take the next step and rise his level and raise his level for the NBA just as much as he has been for the FIBA World Cup. But I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you believe that this is a serious thing that, that will actually help these players in the regular season, preseason, and training camp? I understand the different leagues. The NBA is one league, the FIFA World Cup, and all these other competitions. Even people could consider the Drew League in there. Whatever the case may be, that's a completely different story. And I understand that. But competitive games are competitive games. 5v5 is 5v5. And if you're preparing yourselves in those ways, you should be coming into a big, big, big season ready to play. It's why when we talk about Kobe White balling out in a Pro-Am game, it's something very similar. But of course, the level is not going to be the NBA level. And there's not much competitions out there that can offer an NBA experience. But you're playing 5v5 and you need to be well aware that you have to play 5v5 in order to stay up to date and in order to, I guess, keep yourself in shape for 5v5 action. So... Again, it's it's praising Kobe White for a prime game, but it's praising Vucevic and Karlik Jones for their games as well in a big tournament for their country. So fair play to all of them. Fair play to the Bulls for working hard, the Bulls players for working hard. And of course, fair play to every player that's working hard in the offseason. These are athletes for a reason. And yeah, they're working hard, which is always a great thing to see. With that in mind, have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care, and peace.